Um, all right, so let's go and take a look at this one. Again, we go through this and see, is there a term that we can factor out from this, right? Is there something that we have in common? Uh, we're well, close, but we can't get the two out of the nine, right? We can get it out of the first two terms, we can't get it out of nine. We can get an x out of the first two, but not the last. We can get a y out of the last two, but not the first. So there's nothing we can factor out of a GCF. It's close, but we can't factor anything out of a GCF. So we want to factor this out. And remember, guys, when we have factored, we've, a lot of times we use the diamond to help us out. And we'd say, you know, what two numbers multiply um, to give us negative 9 and then, and then add to give us, uh, well, actually, not multiply to give us negative 9 because we notice we have an 8 in front, correct? So we need to make sure we multiply 8 times negative 9, which would be negative 72. And then add up to give us 6. So is there any two numbers that multiply to give us negative 72, but then add to give us negative 6? 12 and 6. Very good. So since our 12, that has to be negative, and that's a positive. Does everybody follow me with that? Make, make sure, unlike that problem, see how this pro on over here I just used the negative 64, right? Because that was our C. This problem, we have A, so we have to make sure we multiply our A times our C. Okay, Adara? So now what we do is we take those two terms and we write them into our problem. So we say 8x squared minus 12xy plus 6xy minus 9y squared. Now, why did I throw xy's with it? Well, the reason being is what I'm doing is I am just, I just created this to help me determine what my new middle terms would be. Because if you guys took negative 6xy, if you broke up negative 12xy plus 6xy, that really relates to negative 6xy, right? So we just did this little um, trick over here to help us determine two, how we could rewrite our middle term. And I like rewriting the middle term because now I have a... Um, an expression that has four terms. And I can factor when they have four terms by grouping. So then I look in here and I say, what do these, what do my first two terms have in common? Well, we can factor out a 4x. When I factor out a 4x, I'm left with a 2x minus 3y. Here, I say, what can I take out? And I could say I can factor out a 3y. And when I factor out a 3y, I'm left with a 2x minus 3y. Then what you guys notice is out of this whole expression, right? there's two terms. There's this term, and there's this term. So out of this term and this term, what is the only thing they share? The only thing they share is a 2x minus 3y times what's left over? 4x plus 3y. And that's the factor form, right? Even across, there you go. Yeah, even, even southern heaven.